Welcome to Tech Notice. Today we're talking about monitors and a lot of people whoa, have been asking me why do you use three monitors? Especially when the side monitors are a little bit odd and they don't line up with the top. Why do you use them and why do you use them vertically like that? I've got a very simple reason actually. The reason why I'm using these monitors like that is because I like to have a lot of estate when I'm editing. So, for example, if I've got my Premiere Pro over there, you can see that all my project folder are going to be over here. And like all the clips or B-roll, I can lay it down all here and I can have, see all these thumbnails on the side of this, over here while editing the main thing over here. I can see my Lumetri scopes, I can see other effects over here, I can see the preview window, effects controls and then the timeline on the bottom. But that is not all because on this side, I usually like to have some kind of either browser open to have uh, some information that I'm looking at while I'm editing this or a Lumetri color over there on this side of the screen. And I don't like when there's a lot of things behind the uh, windows or like I have a lot of things open and they're behind each other. I'd like to have them laid out in front of me because I believe this is a faster way of editing and more efficient way because rather than clicking somewhere I can just look and then instantly I can see the information I'm looking for or go there instead of like changing windows and things like that. But with my three monitor setup there is a bit of a problem. So basically this is like the right height where I'm sitting but as you can see over here, my eyes aren't in the middle of the screen. My eyes hit roughly about the top of the screen and I'm constantly like editing a little bit looking down and there is no way of putting these monitors higher up because just the pole in the back isn't high enough. So I've got a new monitor stand that I'm going to be putting these monitors on. So basically all of these monitors, boom, are going to come off. We're going to put new monitor stand on and then hopefully this is going to be a little bit better. The next video will be about audio gear and then the audio gear will come here as well. So there's exciting things coming. Let's start with the monitors and take these monitors off because that's where we have to start. This is the old monitor stand now and you can see that there's only like this one kind of screw that holds it down to the table. But now looking at the new one over here, check this out, there is like three different screws that will hold it on. So the actual place or the area that will fit and tighten the monitor stand onto the desk is much, much, much bigger. So that is really, really cool. So probably much more strength. That's already one difference that I can see. So now the monitor has been set up, as you can see in the back of it, this is quite a long pole and then eventually maybe in the future I can have another like reference monitor or full screen, maybe some smaller size over here as well. So that would kind of like, you know, complete the setup. But for now, this is really good. As you can see, it's much higher and then I can have these monitors on the side. Now it's quite hard to find the perfect monitor kind of stand because like these little joints in the back over here, as you can see, there's only like one, one like joint that goes over there. So that means that if you want your monitor 
let's say you've got a different size monitor so this is 32 and i think these are 24 on the sides if you want them completely like close to this without any gaps and things it's quite hard to like kind of make it in there if there isn't that many joints so my previous one as you can see had one more joint there's like one two three joints instead of um two joints like on this one but still i think this is very very cool uh, this is very easy adjust adjustment in terms of like the height because there's like a quick release little knob over here these are for the side monitors so now let's uh, do the cables So voila, this is my new monitor kind of sand setup. So I'm quite happy with how it works in terms of the height, but you know, no monitor stand is perfect. So if you are thinking about getting this one, here's a few little things that I found that maybe if you're planning to do a similar thing, then maybe that will be helpful for you to know. I'm gonna leave the links for this in the description as well. But basically this monitor stand setup, obviously, not obviously, but, in the box comes with a shorter stand so this is only 40 centimeters stand which doesn't let me like go much higher than previously so what i had to do is actually buy a different pole for this monitor stand and i thought that oh maybe i can use the new pole with my old setup but that's not really working either because this pole is a bit thinner than my previous set of pole this one is 32 millimeters i think my previous one is 35 millimeters so like the fixings don't mix and match with each other but this one i think it's pretty good in terms of like quick setup it's quite affordable you know it's not very uh, expensive there is some much more expensive monitors and monitor stands out there so this altogether was a roughly around 100 quid with the monitor stand as well like in the, like that i had to buy extra so i'm gonna try to leave the links in the description below if you want to buy this then i think those cable uh, kind of uh, assortment clips that just clip onto the pole i'll show you one behind here see like one of those that just clip on the side and then you can put cables over there they are not the, the best because um they don't have a lot of like strength to hold around the clip so if you have a lot of cables over there it can easily just pop loose it's just for like mild cable management so the cable management isn't the best for this there is some like little strips that come with it in the box let me see. but these only go around as you can see this pole in here so you can do the cable management management on the main pole but not around there so as you can see i've got quite a few cables like coming this way and then that way so you can't really fix those cables onto the side arms which is a little bit of a you know problem but altogether i think i'm happy and it actually did what i wanted it to do is to lift the monitor a little bit up and next off i can finally start setting up my audio setup underneath as well so if you're interested in that stay tuned because that's going to happen in the next video now another tip over here is if you want to get some cheap side monitors because you don't need these to be color accurate do you you don't need them to be like anything good really about them not high fresh rate you can get the cheapest ones that have these amounts i think that's the one of the most important things that those side monitors have these amounts so you can put them on the monitor stand put them in an upright position like portrait mode and then you can use all of this like that i mean you could put them sideways as well if you want if you've got lots of room on your desk but i think in terms of the like premiere pro editing bins for example then it works much better when it's portrait mode because you can just see more files laid out like that way i'm gonna leave a few options in the description below as well of some of the cheaper monitors on the sides and the main monitor i'm gonna leave in the description as well because i think this is a amazing monitor in terms of the money um, I've got a whole video about that, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave that in the description below. And that concludes this video setup of Studio Makeover in terms of the monitor setup. Thanks guys for watching, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching, bye bye. If you're wondering why my voice is gone, it's because the football didn't come home last night. I don't know when this video will be published, but England lost to Italy on penalties. A shame. A shame.